All right. I'm doing probably I was gonna just make this um, brushing video one video for both dogs, but Bixby takes a little longer. Of course, he likes to get brushed. So Uncle Sean's brushing him, and he uses the the side of the brush, the detangling side, which is the metal part, the little metal bristles are the detangling, and the black bristles are for smoothing. But when he's really wet, sometimes it's like hard to use the detangler because he's so thick that sometimes if he's got like a mat in there, it'll pull on it and he'll get a little cranky. But Uncle Sean's awesome at this. He's a little bit more gentle than me with the brushing. Pop, leave him alone. Bobby. <laughs> That's a good boy, Bigsby. You're gonna be so handsome. You look so clean already. Look how bright white your fur looks. We're about, I think, like two hours after his bath right now, approximately. And. He's still very, very wet. Poppy is almost completely dry. But Bigsby, even after like several brushings, which will happen here throughout the course of the day today, he'll still be wet until we wake up tomorrow morning. Usually, he's mostly dry by the time we wake up in the morning and he'll be back to his normal self. Bigsby's parents were a long-haired Chihuahua and also a long-haired Dachshund. So he has lots and teacup lots of Chihuahua long and hair, mini Yeah, long-haired teacup Chihuahua and then long-haired mini Dachshund. So he's got lots of hair. And Poppy is... Her parents are, I believe, a small one of the smallest beagles. Right, the 13 inch yes. beagle yeah. and a short haired dachshund. Yes. And so that's why she is so very sleek and almost and not fuzzy at all like Biggs. Biggs, your poppy doesn't require a lot of brushing. We brush her just with the black bristled side, which is the smoothing side of the brush. And we only need to go over her a few passes and her hair gets nice and soft and shiny. Bigsby, of course, is our little sweetheart problem child. He's pretty good though, with as cranky as he sometimes gets. He actually likes the brushing and the grooming. Makes him feel handsome, I think. So I didn't quite get all of his eye stuff off this time. Sometimes I can get it where his eyes, his skin around his eyes gets like completely white. This time I didn't do as good of a job as I normally do. But he's such a good boy. Are you such a good boy? <laughs> he doesn't really like it when you comb his butt hair or his tail. He'll let you do it as long as you don't pull on him. But sometimes he'll get kind of cranky. Whenever I comb his hair, when we get when it starts to get a little drier, you can like part him right down the center of his back and brush his hair down. Sort of like you see on a dog show, how they part the dogs and their fur grows long and like drags the ground. His hair is never going to grow that long, but... Maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. I like think this is more, it. I hope he gets one more adult coat. Does he? Yeah. Maybe he'll become like one of those little dust mop dogs. It looks like a mixture of a dust mop and a footstool. 
could be. That's probably a thing, not. Mm-mm. He's like, like don't touch my tail. <laughs> Poppy, are you so interested? Are you so interested? <laughs> So we didn't get into the nitty gritty yet where we co have him flip over on his on his back. Sean's better at this than me where he lets him flip him over and he brushes his like undercarriage and his butt hairs and stuff. Um, but that takes a really long time. So I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that. I'm gonna take a pause right now and what we'll do is we'll make another video for you guys a little bit later tonight when Bigsby's almost his outer fur is almost completely dry and he's all fuzzy and shiny and pretty. So, buddy, say goodbye. Bye-bye. Poppy, you wanna say goodbye? Bye-bye. <laughs>